Hello everyone, my name is Sean with Weibull Woodworks. Um, I have a Shapoko 5 Pro CNC machine and I've had it for about a year now. I haven't made like any YouTube videos on it. I'm gonna start making a few YouTube videos just to show kind of how my year went. Um, but basically there's not a lot of videos on YouTube in general for melamine or particle board. Um, these are some scrap pieces that I had and I was working on a project where I didn't want to paint things white anymore and I was wondering what if I just use melamine and cut out some stuff. So. Like I said, I couldn't find anything on YouTube as far as um, people cutting out this uh, material on CNC. I've heard that it dulls bits, I've heard that it chips out, things to that, but I just wanted to try it, do an experiment, and show you guys, um, you know, what it does. So basically we're going to be doing four different bits. We have a quarter, all of them are quarter inch. Um, we're going to do a roughing bit, a compression bit, up cut, and down cut. All of these are going to be a... Uh, 0.25 depth of cut and then we're going to be running them at about 30 uh, plunge and 100 inches per minute so that's kind of what we're going to be doing um, and I'm going to be doing the same tool path for each one so basically what it's going to look like is the tool will start it's going to do a 0.25 depth of cut in a straight line with a contour we're then going to do a pocket a full pocket straight to the bottom we're gonna do a square at 0.25, and then we're gonna do another contour at full depth, um, just to see what it looks like on the bottom side as well. So each bit is gonna be doing these four cuts. So contour, um, circle, full depth, square, and then another pass full depth, so we can just see what it looks like. Um, all of these bits are Amazon bits, nothing crazy. Um, here's my roughing bit. Most of them are brand new. The only bit that isn't Brand new is my down cut. I've been using this one quite a bit. Um, I primarily use it with MDF, but um, let's get the experiment going and we'll see how it goes. So let's take a look at what we got. Obviously on the up cut bit, we had a little bit of an error. Um, it came loose out of the hold downs. I only have three of them on there. And the up cut bit was giving off a ton of vibration. So it probably just rattled it loose. Also the top is very slippery. So the hold downs probably just lost grip. So here was the first bit. This was our rough cutting bit. Kind of hard to see it. This bit was brand new. This was the very first cut that I had ever done. Um, very clean edges, both top. Um, the pocket, the square, very minimal chip out here and there. Um, the full depth of cut did great as well. 
Uh, here's the compression bit. You know, it's got a little bit, it does the up and the down. So very similar results to the roughing bit. Um, almost no chip out. There was a little bit of chip out here, uh, but not too bad. And then we went to the upcut bit. This is probably my least favorite bit. This is brand spanking new. That was the first cut it's ever done. I've always had a ton of chatter and just vibration with this bit, so I try not to use it a lot. But all of these were done at 18,000 RPM. Um, as expected, a lot of chip out on the top. Actually not as bad on the full depth. This was kind of a redo, so can't expect too much there, but um, pretty much as expected for the upcut bit. And then the last one was the down cut. Um, I've used this quite a bit for MDF and things like that. Um, really clean edges. Um, overall, very clean cuts, both top and bottom and the pockets. Both the up cut and the down cut, I noticed had a lot of noise and chatter and vibration at the 0.25 depths of cut. So, you know, take it as is. Um, I think personally, I would be using either the roughing bit or the compression bit if I were to do a project. And let's look at the bottom side. So all of the bo bottoms have really clean edges, um, whether it's up cut, down cut, you know, all of them super, super clean on that one pass. So all of them work, all of them will get the job done. Maybe it'll dull your bit, maybe it won't. I don't spend a ton of money on bits. Um, you know, I think this bit was less than 20 bucks. So um, take it as you will. I think all of them work, but I'll probably be using the compression or the roughing bit for my next project. All right, thank you guys for watching. Obviously this works for any hobby CNC machine, whether it's One Infinity, X-Car, I have the Shapeoko. Um, the feeds and speeds are similar. I'm using a, a Makita router, so it might be different if you have a spindle, um, but just general hobby use if you wanna cut some three quarter inch melamine, it's definitely doable. Um, results are pretty clean. So if you're just cutting out basic shades, great for like kids furniture. Um, that's kind of what I'm using it for. Um, things like that. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you very much.